dear viewers greetings in this present video we are going to see about the very familiar biocontrol agent pseudomonas fluorescens general characteristics the pseudomonas fluorescens is a gram negative rod shaped bacilli and its arrangement is a single in arrangement and its size is 0.5 micrometer in width and 2.0 to 2.5 micrometer in length it belongs to the family pseudomonasiae and it is motile in nature due to the presence of several polar flagella capsule absent endospores absent the mode of respiration is obligate aerobe that is uh, it compulsory requires the oxygen for its growth next the optimum temperature is 25 degrees celsius to 30 degrees celsius optimum ph is 7 and the pseudomonas fluorescence can able to secrete a soluble greenish fluorescent pigment that is called as uh, fluorescein. It is also able to produce the fluorescent pigment on the selective medium that is the King's B medium. And the pseudomonas fluorescence shows positive reactions for gelatin liquefaction, catalyst test, oxidase test, starch hydrolysis, leaven formation from sucrose and citrate utilization. And the pseudomonas fluorescence enhance the plant growth promotion and reduce the severity of many fungal diseases. Next, habitat. Uh, it is a non pathogenic saprophytes and it is non pathogenic to humans and it is saprophytic in nature. It will uh, live in the dead and decaying uh, organic matters and other things like soil, water, and plant surface environments. And the pseudomona, uh, pseudomonas fluorescence which survey on the plant surface environments are referred as the endophytic pseudomonas fluorescence. And regarding the crop recommendation, the pseudomonas fluorescence is recommended for crops like uh, potato, cucumbers, eggplant, tomatoes, chili, cut flowers, orchards, vineyard ornaments in greenhouses, lawns and necessaries. And the target pathogens of this uh, pseudomonas fluorescence includes Pythium species, Phytophora species, Rhizoctonia solani, Fusarium species, Botrytis cinerea, Sclerotium species, Sclerotina species, and Ustilogo species. Uh, and next, we will see the role of pseudomonas fluorescence as a biocontrol agent. And it is uh, highly involved in the biocontrol of uh, plant pathogens especially the pathogens which inhabits the roots and it have a strong inhibitory activity on Rastonia solanacerium, Fusarium oxysporum and Rhizostonia solani and the pseudomonophorescence is mostly studied for the protection of agricultural crop plants from various uh, phytopathogenic humicids uh, particularly the pythium species and fungi like uh, Fusarium oxysporum Gaminomyces graminis, Rhizoctonia solani, and a lesser extent to the bacteria like uh, Pectobacterium, Cartoverum, and nematodes, Meloidinizing species. Uh, rather non specific in their ability uh, to protect the plants from soil phytopathogens, the Pseudomonas fluorescence protects more than one plant species from other distinct pathogens or uh, phytopathogens. And the disease suppression by pseudomonas fluorescence often entails the inhibition of phytopathogens in the soil or in the roots by the activities like uh, competition based activity or uh, antagonism that is the antagonistic activity by producing some secondary metabolites which affects the phytopathogens which are present in the root or soil of the plants and the plant protection may also result from direct interactions uh, with the host plants especially in the case of uh, ISR that is uh, induced systemic resistance. And next the pseudomonas fluorescence suppresses the plant disease by producing uh, some secondary metabolites like uh, antibiotic and antifungal compounds, uh, sidrophores and hydrogen cyanide. Antibiotics and antifungal compounds inhibit the fungal spore germination and it results in the lysis of a fungal mycelia. The second uh, metabolite, the citrophores or the low molecular weight compounds which chelate the ions and limited the supply of the ion to the rhizosphere and it results in the lagging of ion for the phytopathogens. And the third one is the hydrogen cyanide. It inhibits the growth of the phytopathogens and, and it is non-toxic to the host plants. 
the pseudomonas fluorescence act as a systemic biocontrol agent against various uh, bacterial and fungal diseases and it has uh, it has an unique ability to enter the plant vascular system and from the plant vascular system it can be able to reach the various parts of the plant system and the next is the competition that is uh, the competitive exclusion of the pathogens uh, occurred as a result of rapid colonization of the rhizosphere by pseudomonas fluorescence and it may also be an important factor in the disease control and, and finally the pseudomonas fluorescence is also involved in the production of uh, various plant growth promoting uh, phytohormones or plant growth promoting hormones like uh, indolastic acid auxins and gibberellins and along with the phytohormone production it is also playing a major role in the solubilization of phosphates it can able to uh, solubilize the complex form of the phosphates into the simple forms and next isolation of pseudomonas fluorescence uh, usually the pseudomonas fluorescence are isolated from the soil by serial dilution technique uh, either pore plate technique method or spread plate technique method is employed for the isolation of the pseudomonas fluorescence and the recommended culture medium for the cultivation of the pseudomonas fluorescence is the selective medium that is the king's bee agar medium is the uh, widely used medium for the cultivation of pseudomonas fluorescence next microscopic characteristics under gram staining it shows a pink colored rod shaped gram negative bacteria arranged as single in hanging drop method that is the motility test uh, the motile rods were observed due to the presence of uh, several polar flagella next cultural characteristics in king's bee agar medium slow, uh, pseudomonas fluorescence shows individual small round irregular and uh, greenish fluorescent pigmented colonies Uh, this is the colony morphology of uh, pseudomonas fluorescence in the king's bee medium next to biochemical characteristics catalase positive oxidase positive urease positive indole negative methyl grade test negative vogus prescott test negative citrate utilization test is positive starch hydrolysis negative casein hydrolysis positive gelatin hydrolysis positive esculin hydrolysis test negative nitrate reduction test negative glucose fermentation uh, shows the acid production and a no uh, and no gas production in sucrose fermentation uh, fermentation was not observed and there is no fermentation and next in mannitol fermentation acid produced and gas not produced and in mannitol fermentation acid produced and gas not produced and finally in arabinose fermentation acid produced and the gas not produced and finally formulation of pseudomonas fluorescence uh, commercial preparations of pseudomonas fluorescence uh, comes in various forms such as uh, solids uh, liquids powders tablets granules ball agents liquid suspension and oil emulsion these are all the Uh, formulation of the commercial preparation of the pseudomonas fluorescence thank you for your support and listening thank you